adventures to small four dealer smiler. And it was the core of it was designed using a uh, large score function a few years ago. And just uh, as a side project, we thought it'd be interesting to redesign the core using the newer score function just to see how it differs. Um, we thought it was uh, pretty straightforward, so I just made a quick script uh, just using fast design. Just gave it a res file for core the core residues, and just let it include uh, the current side chain up and fancy. Pretty much everything is default. Um, fast design is used a lot, uh, but if you're not familiar, it, it's an alternating uh, uh, fixed backbone uh, hacking design, uh, load mode replacement, uh, and minimization cycling between those two while it ramps up the uh, repulsive weight from uh, very small 2% of the normal. Uh, 
uh, for all of those 50 monomers. And what I'm showing here is uh, the average number of heavy core siphon atoms in the design is divided by uh, the, uh, the input. And <coughs> over here we have the four that we're using. So zero is what we're already, the, the current standard for best design. Um, and like I said, we lose 20% of the atoms. And, but by increasing the pulsion, we end up with more atoms. Um, and address uh, this issue that I saw. Uh, I also checked the radius of gyration, dividing the, the radius of gyration of the designs by the input. And again, uh, we don't get as much backward vacuum. Uh, what might be the most interesting is the scoring groups. Uh, it's somewhat mild, but a tenth of an REU per position, um, almost double that for beta. Uh, and uh, you don't even need to be using fast design. When you're on fast relax, it's mild, but you get the same patterns. Um, so this is all fixed sequence. And it's, it's much milder, but um, uh, you still see improvement. And when we use this new method on uh, our protein, uh, on the this, all these A's are um, the current default that's currently mastered, and then uh, when you have uh, the after that four, and then top and bottom are what we get uh, the input sequence for just the core residues. Um, you you get a sequence that you would expect. You get more or less what you give Rosetta, maybe with a few tweaks here and there, instead of just getting all these A's. Uh, you also get a better score. By about uh, 24 hours. <coughs> so this seems successful. We wanted to see what other uh, cases we can test. So what we just looked at was a pre relaxed crystal structure and image monomer. We thought we'd also look at interfaces because you can imagine the same thing happening where the two chains would come together and you get small side chains at the interface. We also wanted to look at um, uh, less refined structures, something out of sewing or ab initio. Uh, where maybe you need the soft repulsion to kind of smooth the edges first, um, and you don't get uh, just to make uh, everything fall into place better. So we just looked at this first box, and I'm going to quickly um, just go clockwise. So two-sided interface design improves. Now, these statistics are from the interface analyzer. On the left, uh, pack set measures the quality of packing. Uh, higher is better. It's on a scale of 0 to 1. Uh, so we see that increasing propulsion uh, improves. Again, you can go too far, but uh, it improves at first. And the per residue energy of the interface actually gets almost half of an RU per position better, uh, and a third for beta, uh, which is a big improvement. And if you just do one-sided design and fix the points, you see the same patterns. Uh, and for, uh, so we, we thought that was a success. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to skip the bottom right. I took a sewing interface, um, and uh, which is a little bit less refined than the last crystal structure, and did the same test, and it performed. The data was interchangeable with this top box, so these were pretty much the same. Uh, what I do want to focus on is the bottom left. So I ran the ab initio demo uh, without the final relax step, and then ran fast design or sorry, fast relax on these two. Um, well, with with and without this four, and you see almost no score improvement. The radius of gyration ratio increases. I I don't really know what the what we want to see here. Um, the score gets a little bit better for beta, but not really outside of noise. It never gets better for rep. So that's really the one case where you don't really get a whole lot out of it. Um, and it's also really the case where you you might expect that because you don't have the, the weaknesses that my original case had, and it's, it's less defined, and uh, maybe I just can, you know, use it more softness. Uh, but it doesn't get that much worse either, so. Uh, so that's really the only one that's questioned. Uh, now, uh, we're still looking at different cases and different uh, ways to explore, but so far we've concluded that increasing the repulsion uh, improves the score in, in almost every case that we've looked at. Uh, it also improves the native likeness of the side chains and the backbone position, like that first example I showed. Uh, 
I didn't, I didn't show any data on this. It actually goes faster. It only takes about 80% of what past time and past lives would take before. And I, I think it's because the minimizer is just sampling less of the score function uh, space that it's, um, uh, it's just not having to optimize for faster different, well, not faster, but very different uh, score functions. So uh, it goes a little bit faster. So the improvement is more or less free. It actually gives you a little bit back. We're still exploring other methods. Uh, but in the meantime, you can try this out. I put this in master about a week ago. Um, for fast design and work back lives, if you just add this relaxed script, it pulls with every kind of 20 years. Um, it's not, yeah. Um, it'll, it'll add this for that you can try. Um, and uh, a few people in the lab have tried it, and it did have an improvement. In, they told me, maybe they were being polite, but uh, <laughs> they saw improvement. Um, we might uh, start optimizing for, uh, so this is on the wiki if you don't want to remember the result from using. Uh, from, you can get through from the fast relax to the time. Um, and, uh, we want to make it so that uh, we might just start optimizing for different, optimizing these weights for different cases. And you might be able to plug in relax to the equals mono interface to your trip and get an optimized um, set of weights for your propulsion. Uh, we also might campaign to change the default if we see that this is widespread, so then we'll add the previous model of legacy defaults. Um, uh, I think that's everything. So I, I do want to thank uh, the lab. Uh, this is them striking me during the lab meeting. Uh, uh, I want to thank Brian and Andrew who helped with the discussion of all this. Uh, and then Andrew, David, and Matt all provided um, structures for me to test. And then there's other kind of organizers. All, all of this happened within about the past six weeks, which makes it, uh, which is a test that definitely makes it talk. So it is, uh, they're very accommodating to fit this talk in. Um, and thank you for listening. Thank you. 